Hi, I'm Professora or Coach Yano. I teach Spanish 1, 2, and 3 at Ontario High School, and I also coach JV boys basketball and JV girls softball. Okay, so where did you go to college? Um, after I graduated from OHS, I got my bachelor's degree in Spanish from Pacific University in Forest Grove, and I got my master's in teaching from George Fox University in Newburgh, both in Oregon. Um, what did you major in? I majored in Spanish, and I minored in business. Did you play any sports? I played softball for two years and uh, had fun, but I think I realized about my second year there was just so many hours and I wasn't going to carry on playing um, You know, after college, obviously. So I decided it was time for me to focus on my studies. Um, why did you become a basketball coach? <laughs> well, when I came back to teach, I knew I was going to coach softball. Um, and basketball, I had worked with our previous head coach when I was still in high school and he was looking for a coach for the JV level and he suggested it to me and I wasn't sure that I wanted to take that much time out of my year but the idea just kind of uh, excited me and we went from there. Um, why did you choose to teach at OHS? I chose to teach at OHS because um, I, I knew that I wanted to come back to Ontario eventually, I didn't know when and when I finished my master's degree um, I was looking for jobs all over the state um, and I saw that the Ontario Spanish position was open and Professor Amang had been here for so long and it was the only Spanish job at, at the secondary level in the district and I thought, well that's, that's wild that you know the only teacher, the only position becomes open the year I got licensed and so I decided to apply and I interviewed twice and both of the interviews just felt right. They felt like the right fit more so than um, the other places where I interviewed and so decided to move on back. So what classes do you teach? <laughs> I teach Spanish 1, 2, and 3 and it just depends on the demand for each level. Last year I just taught 1 and 2. Um, so I teach three sections of Spanish 1 and two sections of 2 and then one section of 3 during the day. How many cats do you have? How many cats do I have? Um, I have as many as I can hold in my house. No, I have three cats. And uh, two were my idea, they're little rescues from a shelter, and then my partner kind of fell in love with this little cat who was starving, and he, my partner said he wanted to keep this new cat, and I said, well, shoot, I can't ask for two, and then <laughs> he can't have one. So we have three at the moment, and I think that's our limit for now. Okay, so what are their names? <laughs> my cat's names, the two girls are Lucy and Chloe, and the male's cat's name is Dave because we just think that's the funniest name and so we went with it. What are some of your hobbies? Hobbies? Oh wow, I have um, really silly hobbies. I really like to cook at home and I really like to do puzzles. That's like a new found um, hobby for me where I don't have to think and I can put my phone down and just focus on something that's not work related. Um, I've really gotten into swimming recently which I never thought would be me but um, that's been a really fun new challenge for me and uh, my hobbies are not being contacted by students on weekends and um, trying to stay away from work as much as possible. How long do you plan on teaching? Wow, that's a crazy question. Um, I, I love teaching and I plan to teach until I feel like I'm, you know, as long as I'm doing it for the right reasons and it's the right fit for me, then I want to teach. And if I feel like I ever resent my job or I resent the students, um, then it's probably time to move on. And I really can't say when, when or if that'll happen, but I can say at this point I'm really enjoying my job and I plan to keep going. Okay, so that's all the questions we have. Thank you. Thank you very much.